cooking in the kitchen with Terrence, man. Hi. Hi, uh, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. Would your, I think, fellow teammates know that you cook? Like, is that something you make known to your friends? No, I don't make it known, but some of them know. They do? Do you ever cook for, for members of the team? No, never. Not if they're, you know, paying me for a plate. <laughs> exactly. And I think, you know, what was really cool about seeing you make a recipe is, like, you know your way around the kitchen, I feel. Yeah, for sure. Like, you're comfortable. 100%. I love when I was reading about you and your story, how you made things happen for yourself. Like, it, I, I found your story so inspiring because I was reading about how, first of all, you grew up in Brooklyn, right? Um, went to Florida State, and then how you, like, cold called an agent. Yeah. And I basically did. just said, can you represent me? Yeah. That yeah. takes guts, though. I didn't even know that story was out, to be it honest. Is. That's crazy. Yeah. How did you know who to call? And did, and that person then said, you know what? Yeah. My AU coach told me, he was like, call this guy, you know, just talk to him and be, a, be yourself and, you know, hopefully he'll represent you. So I called him. I told him I needed an agent, and he was like, you know what, I got you since nobody's ever done this before. <laughs> really? No one had ever just cold called him nah, and asked for an agent? that's what he said, yeah. He was like, nobody ever done this, so really? I'm going to represent you. I was like, cool, he's still my agent until this day. That's amazing. Yeah. You grew up, I would imagine, playing basketball. Your mom's a basketball coach. Yeah, yep. I grew up playing basketball, soccer, baseball. Were you good at everything? Yeah. Was there ever a chance for you to go pro in another sport other than basketball? I think if I would have took soccer serious, yeah. then yeah, probably. Really? Yeah, but then I started getting too tall and started, you know, playing a lot more basketball because I was getting better at that. So another story where you were at the airport, you were going home, you were disappointed, and you had one percent left in your battery, and you weren't going to pick up because you didn't know the number. I couldn't pick up because my phone was probably going to die and I, I need to get on the flight. Okay, so what did that phone call Um, say? I just, something told me to pick it up just because. I don't know why I did yeah. it. I, at the time, it probably was a bad idea, but I picked it up and they were just like, uh, where are you going? I was like, what do you mean? They're like, you're invited back uh, for the NBA combine. I was like, nobody told me. I didn't know. I'm at the airport. You're ready They're to like, leave. Yeah, I was ready to leave. So like, we're sending you a car back there. You know, buy a charger, we'll reimburse you, whatever got a charger, waited for the car, and then went back. And then ended up getting drafted a few months later. So now you're with the Clippers. Um, what was that like when you got drafted? I mean, it was an amazing feeling, you know, being able to you know, grow up, watch NBA basketball all the time with my friends and stuff. And yeah. then, you know, being able to be a part of that, um, it's just crazy. It's a real moment though. And there was one moment in particular, it was like the semifinals or something, the Western Conference and you you made a play. Something happened, you said Steve Ballmer gave you a high five, like yeah, the crowd stood I, up. Yeah, I had a pretty good game. Um, you know, took us to the Western Conference Finals for the yeah. first time in history, I think. Right. So, um, yeah, that was just a, another special moment along the career. And you said that was kind of when you were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe like this is my life now. Yeah, that's that was like one of the, you know, wake up moments for me. Just like, I'm, I'm here, I'm in it. And, is what I'm doing. You're in this, the season is now, it's happening, you're training, you're working hard, you're playing all the time. Is food a big part of your life, like to keep you on top of your game? Yeah, for sure. Keep you I, always, I always gotta make sure I'm eating. You know, if it's every three, three hours, I would say I probably try to get a meal in or eat something. So yeah. I always try to make sure I'm up with my food. Are you really healthy? Um, I try to be healthy. I'm not like really healthy, real strict, but I try to stay away from certain yeah. What's what's your go-to like when you're at home and you're making food for yourself, or do you I'm, like? I'm are not, you a lot I'm, of like Postmates? Yeah, I'm a lot of Postmates yeah. for sure. Um, Postmates, going out to eat, going to get something to eat, because it just it takes up a lot of time. Like I, I don't like the process to of, cook for one. Yeah, like cooking, it takes an hour, I hour know. and a half, and, and then out. you eat it in 15 minutes. It's yeah. like. Do you have a favorite restaurant in LA? I would say food-wise, for like yeah. taste and. I probably say Ketch is one of my favorites. You like Ketch? Yeah, I like the nice. food there. And the vibe is fun. The vibe is nice, yeah. but it's mainly the food. Okay. Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Terrence, this is your chicken that I saw you make online. And I washed and dried it for you because I Thank saw you. that that was like a thing. Appreciate Where's your that. family originally from, this recipe? Um, St. Lucia. Okay. So, yeah, they, my mom and dad are both born there. Yeah. Um, you know, half my family still lives over there. Really? And, Do you yeah. visit? Sometimes, yeah. It's beautiful, when I have time. Right? Yeah. I mean, I've never been, but. No, it is beautiful. It's nice. Yeah. So this would be a dish. 
yeah. popular in San Diego. For sure. Yeah, is it called something? Uh, we call it stew chicken. Stew chicken. Yeah. And it really is pretty easy, yeah. right? It's simple. Yeah. It's simple to make. Um, you know, you don't got to go anywhere extra for okay. the seasonings. So talk me through. I have your drumsticks and I have thighs in here. Perfect. Okay, now what do we do? So now you start, you know, chopping. adding, chopping, adding. So I okay, like to talk add me, the Talk seasoning. to me about your adobo seasoning. Yeah, so we use adobo for flavor. Yeah. Um, it, gives it, it gives it a nice salty spice to it. You add a little bit of curry powder to it. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit of salt. Uh, a little bit of pepper and whatever other you know stuff you got. These are no joke. That uh, that you only need one or two of those. Right. So these are like <laughs> these are kind of like Scott. Are they Scotch? But these are habaneros. Yeah. So that I actually did on my own. Oh, you? Like that's family, your twist. Yeah. My family doesn't normally use those, but I use those just to give it a little. Are spice. you a spicy guy? I'm not big on it, but okay. that that just gives it a nice. Okay. It's good. You could go ahead and season the chicken then. Do yeah, your I'm thing. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I like yeah. to eyeball it. I can't yeah, tell you. Yeah, me too. I can't tell you how much to put. Everybody's like, how much? They, you know, people message me like, how much do you want to put? I don't know. Just, just eyeball it. Now, when it's a game day, what are we eating? What's happening on a game day? Um, I like to eat a lot of carbs for energy. Yeah. So I'm having pasta, you know, things of that nature. Let's say when you're not playing and you're just a fan watching, what is your favorite? Game day food. Oh, that's a good question. Yes. I probably do like, you know, crab legs and mm. a nice little broil, some, something like that. Ketchup. Now, I thought that was a brilliant ingredient. Really? Ketchup is amazing. Yeah, ketchup is, is Like your good. secret weapon. It, yeah. You don't really taste it, though, but you do at the same time. Yeah. Like, you need it. You exactly. You taste it, but you need it, for sure. Have your pepper. Let me cut up some, some white onion or green onion or both. Both. Both for sure. So did mom play basketball as well or was she just a coach? Yeah, she played at Georgetown in DC. Wow. Yeah. She did That's amazing. undergrad there. Um, then ended up coaching for 25 years after that. You're gonna be brave enough to handle the I will. habanero. This I'll do. Okay, that's what we needed. Oh, garlic. You did fresh tomato in your recipe, but I just have like canned chopped tomato. That'll work. Right? Okay, talk to me about your brown sauce. Okay, so the browning gives it the color and the uh, almost like a, sh not a sugary taste, but it's a little sweet. And it just, you know, Another adds to the, weapon. yeah. All right, Terrence, we're gonna cook up our chicken. And so you brown it first and then you kind of let it stew for a while, right? Yep. All right, I've got some vegetable oil. Perfect. It's hot, I think. So then you just place the chicken in, that's yeah, it? Yeah, just place okay. it in. I'll let you do the honors. Yeah, I'll do it. And then we just need like two cups of water probably. Okay. And then yeah, let it stew. And so then you'd like let the fat render off the chicken a little and then you add your water, cover it. Cover it and then wait, checking on it every like 15 minutes. Okay. And then 45 minutes maybe, do you think? 45 to an hour, okay. put on. Okay, so we browned it a little bit, then our two cups of water. Yep just to barely cover it, lid, and then should we play some one-on-one -on -one while we wait? Yeah, while we wait, 45 minutes of one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> oh, okay. wow. Are we playing horse? <laughs> oh. This isn't fair, though. Home court advantage. <laughs> okay. You're just being nice. Oh, maybe we play pig instead of horse. Oh, no. Three for three? Okay, now you're just pretending. Now, now you're just... I'm losing. Pig, I'm, I'm out. One last one. Three pointer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Terrence, you ready for lunch? I'm ready. Nice. Who usually makes this in the family? Was it you or did like mom or grandma? Grandma. Or... Yeah. Yeah. For the most part, it's oh, it is falling off the bone though. Right? It's so tender. Oh yeah, that's good. You know what, it's like comfort food, right? We did a good job. Yes, Yeah. you did a good job. Yeah, for sure.